Hey guys, Shucky here bringing guys a new video and today we're going to look at the new cards. I've waited for the Halloween special cards to release so I could do this video. Uh, that's why I haven't posted it yet or done it in general. I was going to do a Friday and then do another video, but I figured I'd just put them together. Uh, I imagine you guys already seen these cards, but you guys might not have seen the Halloween cards that were released today. The ones uh, that if you did enough damage, you would have gotten one of them. Um, so let's actually go through, actually let's look at this first, so we, uh, got Costo, Custo, maybe, Custo, uh, he is a two star, uh, Piranha, then we have Per, PR, I don't know how, if it's Per, Per maybe, Per Cushing, um, he is a three star, uh, Riots, uh, he's really good, uh, and then we have Shaker, who is a three star, um, Raptors there, and then we have uh, Crystalis, who is a five star, another five star Vortex, which is uh, pretty scary. And then we also have a two star Jungo and a five star Roots, so we'll get to those also. So, uh, first we got a six two minus one opponent's power and damage minimum one. Not the best two star that they have, but certainly a, um, a good. Um, Starting card for players who are just coming into the game uh, gives them the ability to use that stu uh, that double minus uh, for opponents there. So not a bad card overall. Uh, and then we have the new card Lone, who is a jungle that you could have gotten if you got in the top 2,000 of damage. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to play. Um, copy opponent's bonus and plus two life uh, on a 6-3 two-star. I think this card is really good. Definitely... Uh, one of the top two stars, uh, um, of course, they have the 7-1 DR guy uh, who nobody's going to be higher than. But he's definitely up there, and I think he is actually really, really good. Uh, and then we have Chrysalis, who's the uncommon. Uh, he is an 8-6 cancel opponent's pill modifier, which is uh, pretty ridiculous against other Vortex. Uh, that doesn't look right. But, uh, yeah, so... <clears throat> um, yeah, I think it's really good. An 8-6, uh, that's going to be able to allow you to go with, uh, in type 2 or something like that, to go with one of the 6-8s the and then go for them, and then if they hit or whatever, then you can go with him. And, uh, yeah, if they have plus pill cards, then they can't even get the pills off of it. I think he's really good. They have a, real, a lot of really, really good 5 stars in Vortex. Uh, and then we have PR Cushing, who I think is the best release of the week. He has a 7-4, minus 3 opponent's damage, minimum 1. And then, of course, he has that pill increase. Just really, really good card. Uh, I mean, look, at he's still going for 50k. Um, maybe we can get one of those with our pack. Uh, and then we have Shaker, who is cancel opponent's damage modifier. Uh, he's an 8-4, 3 star, though, which is really, really good. It's something that... They kind of needed. I was playing, um, I was playing Raptors, and they they were definitely lacking just enough power to do anything. Even though they stop attack modifiers, they don't stop, you know, the um, power modifiers, damage modifiers, stuff like that. So he's definitely good. He stops Colossus. He's pretty much a, oh, they're worse than a DR in my opinion, but in uh, some situations they're better. Like against Colossus, nobody who's gonna have minus six. And uh, he essentially has minus six there. And uh, then we have Lelina, Lelina, something like that. She is defeat, regen one, max 15, seven, six, five star. Pretty good. Um, I don't think the best card, but uh, regen is going to be the heal that starts on the same turn now. Uh, which is way better than heal because I think heal is really slow and not really worth. Because the most value you can get off is three turns worth. And you'll have to take damage. Some of the cards have like, you know, heal one, minimum 11. So you already had to take damage first turn. And now you're only get, going to get heal two HP, which is kind of useless. So um, overall, I think it's pretty good. We'll go to the shop here. We've got some credits to spend. Um, so we could buy essentially four for these new Halloween packs. Uh, once again, one of the special packs, but we're going to actually buy two of those. I don't know what's going to be in here, but there seems to be some really good cards. We can get the, the new the new chick who's worth 200k, so that's what we're aiming for. We're going to get two of those, and then we're going to get a bunch of new bloods, so uh, let's do that there. Um, come on. Oh, they're not clickable. 
Okay, this one's clickable. <laughs> that first one's not clickable. Um, nothing really good in that one. I don't know what we got in this first pack. Uh, so we got Chrysalis, which is good. Um, theater, which we don't really care. Uh, yeah, this Chrysalis right there. And Mandrake is good. I think Mandrake's good. Uh, Blood will be good to sell. There, a lot of these are pretty expensive cards. We'll pr most likely sell him to. Uh, Grizio will sell. I uh, wish we could open this pack to see what we got. We'll just go look at Roots real quick. <laughs> see if we actually got her. Uh, probably not. As I imagine she has a a mission. Yeah, we weren't able to uh, procure her. Is there a way I could check those packs again? Like, I wish I wish it would let me open the pack, but it didn't. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I just had to go back and open the pack. Uh, so nothing really good in this one. The other pack was definitely better. I mean, these are all really low cards. I don't even know who this guy is. Uh, yeah, that's probably why. So, um, okay, there we go with that. So the pack's pretty good. And uh, then we're going to get the six mega new blood packs here. And uh, buy those. And uh, hopefully we can rip something good out of these. And... Oh, we got Zira, who we will probably be selling. <laughs> I've gotten so many of her and just making so much off of her. Uh, we got Lenora. Pretty good. Oh, we got Galactia, who I am going to keep. I will not be selling Galactia. Uh, we got Amir, who, who's uh, pretty good. Amir's pretty good. Might keep him too. Uh, Walker. Walker's really good. I might sell Walker, though. I don't know. Oh, Rex. Another Rex. So, uh, another one of her. I get a ton of her. I don't know why she's still 6k if I just pull so many. So, uh, overall, we got some pretty good packs. Um, can't really complain. We're gonna be able to sell, make some, make probably 200 again. Another 200k. Uh, so he's the one who's just like, uh, yeah, but he's growth, so... Um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. I uh, can't really complain about any of that. Of course, get the Galactia, which is the biggest card that we got. Um, Galactia is really good. 8-4 <laughs> Toxic 1, just really, really good. Um, so she's essentially 8-5, and then you could just DR the rest. You don't even have to use her. You could, you could splash her in decks, which I think is really good about her. Um... I, no, Walker was our most expensive, wasn't he? Walker. Walker is disgustingly good. Uh, where is he? There he is. Walker, of course, came out last week. 9-5, defeat plus two pills. He's a 9-7, and if, they, if he loses, you get two pills back. So you can literally just go two or three pills with him, and then you're either going to do seven damage, or you're going to pretty much win the game. So, um, all in all, good 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 um i hope you guys enjoyed this video though uh i'm gonna be doing a, a battle video soon i was gonna do one of the deck because i thought the um this is my deck actually i went 18 and one in dt with this deck i lost another one in the dt and also i started late in the dt but um so i i, I lost one because I forgot to take out the other cards that were in my deck previous to this deck. But they had uh, no negatives on Grax or Jackie th this past week. I guess that's over now, unfortunately. But uh, if it wasn't, I would definitely be... Or the weekend, I mean. I would definitely be using this deck in that video. Uh, just bringing the old school feels back. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, look at, look at this. You won, 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 won. Look at... Brrr. And then uh, I lost the last one there right before the end. So, um, yeah, I'll be bringing some battle videos, bringing you guys a new deck. Uh, I'm going to work on something uh, right now probably and uh, bring you guys that. I'm at 68%. I'm going to get to that 80, but uh, we'll probably buy some like really low crappy cards to get to that 80 real quick. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys rate, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys later.